Hello YouTube, this is Mint here. Today I'm going to be showing you the best startup guide to success in retail testing tools. Now, let's get on with the video. Alright, so, all right, so if you want to, you can go through the tutorial if you want to. So let's play this. Absolutely. Congratulations on your new store. It's empty right now, so let's get some shelves placed now. Alright, so, so... Here's how you open the build menu. You can just click up here, or you can just press the number two on your on your keyboard, laptop, whatever you're trying. And you have to go to the shelving section right here. And here's a variety of shelves that you can use. So, for instance, we can we can place two shelves like uh right here. You can also like you can also like click and hold it down and you can like drag it over here. And you freaking make like two shelves. Now you now you need to place a cash register to pay for your item. So here's the cash register right here. It's next to shelving, customer service. There are three different cash registers that you can use. And you can place and you can place one wherever you want. And this red area means that you cannot place it. Oops, yeah, it's already something there. Let's just place it right here. Now you're going to need something to put on this. So now, what you're going to want to do is open the vehicle menu. It's going to be next to the camera up here. And you're going to want to select the pickup truck. And you can like spawn it wherever, like right here. And hold E to drive. Now, now I'm just gonna use a shorter way to get down to the loading dock. So just follow the arrows to get to the loading dock. So over here, then you go down here. Then over here, and then under this, under this hill, a mountain. Here's the loading dock, so you're gonna wanna drive up here, get out of your car, and talk to this attendant. From here, you can like buy items, so you can sell at your store. So you can select canned food, and each category here is different items that you can buy, and there's different variants. So, and on, and right here, you can see which shelves that they fit on so you don't have so you don't buy like the wrong shelves. So you, since we bought like the re regular shelf, canned food needs to be on the regular shelf. So let's buy some alright so they need alright so buy one hundred canned food. So you can buy how much ever you want. And you can close it over here. You can go back to your truck. And now press load truck to load your truck with the canned food. Now you're gonna wanna drive back to your store, wherever it is. You're just gonna wanna drive back there. And once you arrive back at your store, go to the go to the loading dock and then press unload truck. For it to be unloaded. Now you're gonna click on the open when you wanna open the shelf stocking menu. Or just press three. You're gonna wanna set the filter to regular right here, and then you can select one of the canned foods such as goat beans, maybe a uh, uh, fruit too. Now you can now you can hire a cashier by yourself, or or you can like do it by yourself. So let's just hire a cashier just for the purpose of this video. Now you have a now you have a functional screen. And yeah, and yeah, here's like the here's the uh store from the from the tutorial that you that you uh, go through. And now there's like other things like um uh, like all right. So let me tell you something. So if you like press four, go to workers. There's like many workers. There's like five workers that you can hire. Cashiers work the cash registers. 
The restockers can restock your items. The managers automatically purchase purchases like items so they can sell at your store. Delivery drivers deliver for you to the loading dock to get the items back to the store. And the finance reps uh, can loan customers money so they can buy things that they can't afford. So, so you notice how like, how like the manager and the finance reps have desk required. So let me show you that. If you go to infrastructure right here, you click on the desk, and you, do you see these two arrows right here? Now, now they're gonna either say manager or finance rep. Those are the desks for the assigned employees. So just so just make sure of that. All right, so let's go to the tiles. Grass is just regular green grass. Like right here, just regular grass. Now, 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 asphalt is a material for parking lots. You can like place it over there. Actually, actually, you you need asphalt for like park for like uh the cars can park and and the unloading dock for the delivery driver or you to unload if you so nice. Now the cheap material uh, can keep the rain out of the store. So yeah, and the concrete is like cheap and effective, and it's very cheap, and you can use it for the floors. Tiles is just cost effective and functional, nothing to worry about. Carpet is soft and fluffy, but it's hard to clean. But as you can see, if you go to Manage Store. And then clean cleanliness. They're gonna the creator is going to add that. So yeah, the so yeah, that's why it says hard to clean. Wood, it's wood and it's on the floor. Now, as you notice, there is a there is a five plus decoration by the carpet and the wood. So and some other floor schemes. So what that means is that uh. Is that the more decoration you have, the more rating that you get, and and the more that your customers will want to buy at your store. So keep that in mind. Cobblestone make for nice walking paths. Marble is is expensive and beautiful. It gives you a lot of decoration, and can be used for skylights or transparent flooring. Glass. Now let's move on to walls. You can use these to like establish the walls around your store, and the ledge, like sh like loop ledges and like short walls, a uh, smaller ceiling that people can walk underneath to get like pretty creative. A window, it's like a wall you can see through it. A window in case your store is in a bad neighborhood, and the uh, very small window with excellent privacy. Now the big window is a floor connect to ceiling. It's a floor to ceiling glass wall, and as you can see, there's like these arrows by it to like, to like show you there's like different kinds of walls. So just keep that in mind too. It's like different sizes. Then there's like the doors. There's the doors. Mm -hmm. And uh, here's a swinging glass door. If you if, if you you like everyone like make something you know, like a door and then here's like the employee only door like only employees can go here the unloading dock very important it you can park your truck here to transfer this into to storage a fence a fence of chains linked together if you are in a bad neighborhood a sleek and modern railing like stairs and here we go to the ceiling. Ceiling. It's like different lights. Now, it's like fan lights. There's signs. Now, let me show you how the signs work. You, you can like press the arrow to give like a number of rows. You can like place the. You can like go here. And then you can like rename it to anything like 01, 10, You can like rename it. So if you ever want to put like aisles, you can like go here, you 
you type in like IO one maybe and like zero one to the name of it. Say this is like food can wait can food. Then you would like put it like right here. There are different types of signs that you can use. So and there's like arrows too. There's arrows. So yeah. Just like point where where anything is. So yeah. Like left arrows, right arrows. So yeah. Customer service. Uh cashier. So like and here's like the checkout register and uh conveyor. So I also have like stored candy here. And the self checkout, you know, you don't need a cashier for it, but but but, but customers will avoid this and they'll take much longer. Shelving, there there's like the shelving here, so so you can use these shelves for like different items. I'm gonna come back to the items later. There's cabinets, there's armored cabinets. These are for guns. This is for like uh, this is for like uh, games. This is for like a variety of things like television speakers, uh, canned foods. There's like a freezer for like a cold food, and this is also like kind of like a freezer, but it's for milk. This is for like fruits and vegetables. This is for electronics. This table there's like different variants of it. This is for clothing. This is for television too. And this is for like car parts, like electronics, more like more like uh like chainsaws, grills, like all of those stuff. Here is for jewelry, if you wanna like place any jewelry here. And here is like a floor display. You can like place cars, ovens. Uh, workout machines, and right here you can like place cars here. You can place cars, like right here. I'm pretty sure. And ten plus ten appeal. So, so yeah, so yeah, that's pretty good. Now decoration is very useful if you want people to like buy, buy more stuff. And, and give like a higher rating for the restaurant. So there's different signs, lights, decorations. You can get creative. And now uh, this is a bench. I don't really use this that, that much, but I should because it gives decoration. Movement. If you want to, if you want to like use stairs, elevator. Or a, or a ladder. Oh, you can like okay. So for the so for the ladder, NPCs cannot use it. Only vision and infrastructure. Like parking slots, you can like place parking slots for cars to spawn. Storage shelves are very useful because they give you they expand your storage state, but it takes a toll on your decoration. Like the desk we already talked about. And, uh, dumpster, uh, you don't, uh, you do not want to use it, cause, uh, it, rem it removes your decoration. Now, these are, like, all for, like, decoration, but the sign, but the sign, if you, like, it, it's, depending on, on how big your sign is, it can, like, attract more customers, so there's, like, a billboard sign, different signs, so, yeah, so, yeah, signs are, signs are very important, so you should probably, uh, you should get the sign. <laughs> customers will spawn more often. Bigger the sign. So like we're, we're finding all the customers, then you take the sign. Back to the door. All right. Now for like the items. So you know like milk, eggs. Uh, there's like a lot of stuff. It's like you go over here and you like see the shelving. Uh, pretty sure milk goes in here, freezer, egg goes in 
egg skeleton right here to refrigerate the cell. And you can just scan through it, scan through all of these items. Yeah, and uh, these are for like game passes. If anyone wants to buy a military, a armored vehicle, you'll be getting like a lot of money. So yeah, you can, like scan through these items, see see where, where they go. Yeah, that's pretty useful. Right. And here's where you can like stock the items, like. And you can like restock them. And you can like empty them right here. You can, like put them somewhere else. So you can like put games right here. If you have like any more items, you can like scroll down. You can like scroll through here. Say you have any time new card, just like place it down. And yeah. And the work experience. Settings, just game save. You can just like change log, credits, stats. This really isn't like a starting guide, this is just like, I don't, I, I don't know, I'm just like telling you the, the basics of the store, the, the basics of Retail Tycoon, pretty much. This is where like buy cash with Robux, or if you're a pay to win, you can like buy more land, buy vehicles, like that, and that's pretty much it. You can use ship to run. And also, and also, you can buy vehicles. You can buy more vehicles over there at Allen's shop. Over there, you can like buy vehicles at this this shop over here. Like, uh, buy more vehicles with like more storage that can go faster, or or you just want to like buy buy a unrelated vehicle if you want to. So like right here, you can like buy a pickup truck, van, sprinter van, small box truck, uh, large box truck, you have kill box truck, a semi, electric semi, if you wanna buy it with game pass, camera, if you wanna be fancy, military truck, and then Bradley, a snowmobile. Do not buy the snowmobile. I would recommend if you if you're starting buy the sprinter van, the large box truck, and the electro box truck. That's why I recommend. Anyways, that's basically it. Uh, see you guys later. Please like and subscribe and bye.